Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video today I'll be showing you something related to Asus Zenwatch 2 so after a long wait we have received Android Wear 2.0 for Asus Zenwatches and uh, now it is available for both Asus Zenwatch 2 and 3 so if you guys have not received an OTA update and uh, if you guys want to update you can follow the procedure which I'll be showing you now let's take a look at what are the features available in this so first I'll show you the model number is Asus Zenwatch 2 and I'll go to the version and check Android Wear is 2.0 and Android OS is 7.1.21 security patch is June 1st 2017 these are the things available in about so the main changes which you'll notice is uh, now notification bars comes from the bottom of the watch before it was we need to drag it uh, towards the bottom from the top but now the notification uh, has been changed and notification bar is at the bottom of the watch and on the top of the watch you get few options available here airplane mode sound and you also have a brightness control which you tap you can directly access brightness from here you can increase or decrease the brightness so the next option what they have is they also have got uh, do not disturb mode available here and direct access to settings and it will also show you your battery uh, percentage along with the date and the Wi-Fi connection so let's go to settings so settings you can see you have displayed these options were already available in earlier uh, build of Android Wear so there are not much changes in this next you have sound this also I did not find any uh, type of uh, changes but one thing additional which I have found is the vibration pattern so now you can adjust the vibration pattern according to your requirement normal long or double so after that we go to apps and in this you get an access of all the apps you can directly access your play store from the watch you don't have to download the app first to your mobile and after that to your watch so you don't have to do all those things under gestures you have uh, till to wake uh, wrist gestures and uh, launch tutorial few options available here under connectivity you also have bluetooth wi-fi airplane location and uh, few more options like personalization to personalization and you have an account attached over here you have an option to smart reply ok google detection device administrator screen lock these are the things which are already available so i'll just show you how to access so if you press this button you can access all the apps available here so these are the apps which I have uh, installed and if you want to go to Play Store you can directly access Play Store from here so now you will get few options so you get an option to search applications recommended for you top free apps trending apps featured watch faces we love and these are the applications on my phone so if I want I can download them onto my uh, watch directly from here all the th uh, things available here if you go to google feed you get a temperature available here so these are the things available in android uh, wear 2.0 and if you long press here you will be able to change the theme of the uh, watch face which is available on your screen and if you want to uh, change the watch faces now you don't have to uh, go anywhere or uh, hold home screen for a longer time you just have to do is you just have to turn towards your left or right and you also get an option to add watch faces here and in this if you want to add any of the watch faces you can add it from here and then you'll get an option to customize these watch faces so these are the options available and guys uh, if you have not received an OTA update then uh, just follow this method which I'll be showing you now so for that make sure you have a PC and ADB drivers installed on that and if you don't have ADB drivers I'll mention the link in the description below you can download the ADB drivers from there so one more feature which is available is if you long press the home, uh, home button you get an option of uh, OK Google so you can uh, search through voice so these are the things which are available in this and now let's take a look how to install the latest OTA update if you guys have not installed it so first what you do is make sure ADB drivers are installed on your device and also one more thing which you need to do is 
you go to settings and go to system in this about and tap seven times on the build number to access developer option so i have already done so it says no need you are already a developer so you go back and you'll find developer option available here after that you need to enable adb debugging mode if you enable this and connect your laptop to your watch then you'll also get an option to allow access to this pc so always allow that access and connect it to your pc once all these things are done make sure to install adb drivers if you have not installed so now you can see towards the right hand side that i have already made an adb folder available here in this i have also downloaded an ota zip file which is somewhere around 300 mb 291 mb so you need to download this to manually flash on your asus zenwatch 2 and uh, after that what you have to do is hold shift and right click you'll get an option to open powershell if you guys don't get powershell you'll always get command prompt here just open this once you open this reboot your watch to recovery mode so what i'll do is for that i go to system and i restart my watch so once you restart i'll tell you how to boot to recovery now once you see this asus logo swipe from top uh, right boards the down and you can see recovery mode once you see this recovery mode leave your device it will boot to official recovery so after that what you have to do is you get it down and apply update from adb you have to select the option uh, apply update from adb once this is done just press this button and connect your data cable and once the data cable is connected what you have to do is you need to sideload this OTA zip just copy the same name and open powershell and given command adb sideload and the name of the file dot zip so after this is done just hit enter and the process should start we will wait for the process to complete and once the process is complete just go to wipe and wipe caches and do a factory reset so after factory reset is done it will take somewhere around uh, 10 to 15 minutes to boot up and you are good to go so that's all in this video guys uh, if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and thank you for being a part of my channel thanks for watching have a great day